With America's aging shooting population, you know, red dots are becoming a huge market, especially with pistols. Now, they started off being really expensive, you know, and only made by top companies in the industry. Now, once the word got out um, that that was the direction that the public was going, everyone is making red dots, and you can find budget red dots for as low as $30, you know, going all the way to the high-end ones for $700. Now, often, you know, you get what you pay for, but there's also many quality optics to be had without breaking the bank. Now, regardless if you are familiar with Primary Arms, they have established a reputation for making some serious quality optics. Now, they cover the entire spectrum from entry level or value all the way to the high-end optics over $1,000. Now, I have owned and tested and reviewed many of their optics uh, throughout that spectrum in cost, and some of my absolute favorite optics are from Primary Arms. I have found them to be tough as nails most of the time and of exceptional quality. Now, I got a hold of two of their pistol op optics from their new Classic Series. Okay, this is a new series for the pistol optics, and the Classic Series was created to offer entry-level optics with good quality at a budget-conscious price. Now, that does, you know, entry-level or budget equal poor quality and junk, or has primary arms, which was the purpose of their, their Classic Series, done uh, what it set out to do and give you quality at budget value cost there's only one way to find out I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. So for this review, I mounted the optic on my PSA dagger, and this seemed like the absolute perfect combination as the dagger was created and marketed, you know, exactly the same. A budget gun with high quality and reliability, half the cost of, you know, the competition. It is a perfect match, in my opinion. So before we get to shooting, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech um, for the Classic Series Mini. Okay, Primary Arms has launched the new Classic Series. This is their Mini Reflex Sight. Super quick out of the box, instruction manual, some Loctite, lens cleaning cloth. Okay, the wrench is there and the optic. Okay, it's got the cover and we've got Picatinny 1911 rail mount. I like that. Uh, that's going to mean that the battery opens up on the bottom. It is not typically my favorite. Um, sometimes they have trouble passing submersion tests, but hey, this is a solid looking optic out of the box. Now, typically, I torture test optics that I review. Um, you know, looking through the, the material and online, I did not see anything on the web page on this being, you know, waterproof and IPX rating. Uh, I didn't see anything about shockproof, so I'm not going to torture test this, you know, at this, at this time. The battery is a bottom loaded, which means also, in my experience, the bottom loading batteries. They don't do well on submersion tests. I've tested a lot of the, the really high-end ones, double, triple, quadruple the price, and they have failed with the bottom-loading battery. But, you know, most people aren't concerned, can I take this and throw it in a meter of water for a half hour? And again, this is an entry level 
And so if that's what you're expecting, I think you're looking maybe at the wrong optic. So this is what I've got for, you know, my field of view zeroing at 50. We'll see how well you can see. You know, it's not too bad. I've got, I got the sun at, at a less than optimal angle. And it is giving me a little bit of kind of backwash in, in the field of view. Now, when I take it and I look anywhere else, not in the direction of the sun, I don't have any blurring of the dot. I actually have a really crisp, clean dot. And, you know, I've shot a lot of red dots and even the high-end ones. When I get the sun at just the right angle, um, it kind of messes with your field of view. But, you know, I, I'm happy with this. Um, let's fire off some and see what we see what we get for a group. Okay, so I've kind of got the barrel broke in a little bit, um, cleaned and polished, was getting it zeroed, and it was like in the 124 grain. So I've got the AAC 124 grain here. I just want to see what we can get here for some groups at 50 yards um, after it seemed like I had a really good zero. Kind of hard to see the hits on that silhouette. I just happen to have a bunch laying around. I much prefer a splatter target. Um, well, let's go take a look. Yeah, that's that's pretty decent uh, for 50 yards. You know, I had. I had a couple of flyers to be expected, but palm size group, guys, palm size group at 50 yards. Yeah, I'm benching it, but I'm benching a, a compact. Um, that makes me pretty happy. I'm thinking, you know, and with the sun in my eyes and a little bit blurry of the dot, I'm thinking we're good to go. Let's, uh, you know, let's maybe play on some steel and start having some fun, break this barrel in. Now, I'm getting it zeroed here at 50 and we're actually having great luck one thing that i i do want to comment on is and it's not unusual in fact almost all the pistol optics have this issue they refer to their click value you know one moa click the problem is there's no click there's no audible or palpable click and i've pretty much experienced that with almost all pistol red dots um you know with the exception of a few why I'm bringing this up is it does make it difficult at 50 yards anyway, which I know is, is beyond what most people are doing, but it does make it difficult to, to really precisely dial that in because I've got no click. I'm, I'm just kind of guesstimating the turn. You know, I am just off to the bullseye here at 50 yards by about, you know, four inches I'd like to do a couple of clicks, but anyway, just FYI. My final group with 124 grain. <laughs> Man, I wish I wish I could group them all like that. That's awesome, though. You know, it, at 50 yards um, with this target, and actually when I'm all done shooting, I'm going to come back with a complete white background and and just a splatter target in the middle. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we can get something like that. Anyway, check that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of the 15, and there's four, and then, you know, a couple flyers. Guys, that rocks. It is time now to start banging on the steel. Hey, folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming.
Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Steal. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what we're getting at 50 yards. I've got no wind today. Um, I'm having some work done uh, to the north, so I, I can't shoot at my 100 right now. But let's see what we can do at 200. Now, those that are interested in shooting at extreme distances with a pistol, um, you're almost always going to have to have a red dot. At least I've got to have a red dot because your front sight post is going to completely obscure your target, and then you're going to it'll be gone, and then you lower it, and then you can see it, and then you're going to have to raise up. But anyway. When you're using a red dot, you want to dial it all the way down to the lowest settings. You can barely see it. Get that doll, that, that, that dot really small. You know, everybody's heard the term, aim small, miss small. Yeah, one of my favorite movies. Anyway, that's what we're going to do here at 200. Okay, so I just want to see bench-wise what we can do at 100 yards. Um, you know, firing off a little faster than we were there for, for groups. Let's just have some fun here. happy with that. Yeah. 
Okay, so I kind of did this back asswards, but that's pretty much how I go through life doing everything back asswards. Um, we started off at 50 and went 100, 200. Now we're back here at the CQB range. I just want to see how well um, this transitions. Okay, we'll try kind of some of the, the more distance in the CQB, uh, 25, 50, and then transition over here. That was 60. Okay, let's see what we can do at 25. Okay, real quick here, we've put about 400 rounds through it. Um, you know, in some ways, that's a torture test. We did uh, the 124 grain and got the best group. Pretty much wrapping it up here, I've got the white target down there. Let's, uh, let's see what kind of groups we're still getting after all that. There you go, guys. You know, our final group here at 50 yards, um, using a PSA dagger compact elite with primary arms classic mini reflex that's using uh, AAC 124 grain full metal jacket you know I can see that I still needed to come left just a little bit more but you know after 400 rounds you know, I'd consider that for a lot of optics, a, a torture test, anything. Anyway, everything is still tight and solid. There you go. Um, it is what it is. You decide. Okay, I wasn't planning on torture testing this, but um, because of the bottom mount, but it does have this base with it. So I changed my mind. Okay, it has no IPX rating, and they say absolutely nothing about waterproof. So my typical dump it in a meter of water for 30 minutes, which is IPX7, we're not going to do. So, you know, we're just going to do a super modified, um, and it's still on. And then we're going to put it back on the pistol and make sure that we didn't have any water issues. And go from there okay so I just loosen these up here and we take this off and we have no water okay everything's seems solid um, I, you know I don't think that's an IP well actually it is an IPX rating I'm not sure which one um, I would classify that as water resistant um, I don't know if I would go so far as to say waterproof. What I want to do now is I want to put this back on the dagger and uh, see if we can see if it kept zero. Okay, so got it back on the dagger. Um, yeah, I have no idea if it'll keep zero. Only one way to find out. Uh, boy, that sounds like right in my eyes. There you go, guys. Um, it even kept zero.
There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. This really does help the most. Like and comment. You know, until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time we're out on the range, every time we're getting some trigger time, you, me, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support my channel. Come check me out on uh, YouTube under Beyond Seclusion. Until next time on Gun Dot Deals, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time that you're out on the raid, you're getting some trigger time. You, me, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.